And so that was another thread that we tried to run through our, through our veins. Don't just sit at the table and occupy a table and have a voice. Be at that table knowing that you're making a difference, knowing that you're swinging the door wide open for someone else to come through it. And that's what we continue to do every day. So we put together a team of about 150 of the most diverse people you could ever find. I mean, they're young people, young women on the Hill, young uh, black women, young white women who had never had a chance to do it before. We brought in some young black men, we brought in Hispanics, we brought in everybody. And we put together the most amazing team, and I've done this for the last three conventions. And it really totally opened up doors and gave people an opportunity to come in and learn something that they would have never had an opportunity to learn before. Voting is the lifeblood of our democracy. And if we don't protect the right to vote, then there are no other rights under our democracy. Because if people cannot, in a representative government, choose who the people are, who the representative, who we hire, then there's no democracy. I am passionate about this issue, and we have to do more. And the president comes on the phone, Bill Clinton. He said, Leo? I said, yes, Mr. President. He said, how you doing? And I said, it's a hard, I said, Man, Mr. President, these white boys are killing me. <laughs> and he said, makes me shame to be a white boy. <laughs> and I said, Mr. President, if all the white boys were like you, I wouldn't be having this problem. Can you give some lessons? <laughs> and he was just, I don't know how he knew to call, but in that moment, he just knew.